guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a review slash first impression of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. If you want to learn more about this foundation, just stay tuned. Hola! Como esta? Y'all, I have to take Spanish again. I have to take Spanish for Why? Oh. All because I decided to double major. Alright you guys, so we are going to do a review and first impression on this foundation. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. It was really hard for me to find this foundation. First off, Memphis got it. I'm pretty sure they got it late. Let's just be honest. Because it was so hard to find it. Like I kept going to stores and I was not seeing it at all. It's not like I was seeing the setup and there just weren't any foundations there like it was sold out. No, there. I just simply could not find the product. So one day Savannah was in Walmart and they were like fully stocked with all the colors and I was like please get it for me thumbs up to Savannah because she's clutch and she came through for this first impression slash review the price of this foundation is $12.99 on the actual L'Oreal website and the retail price it was $10.99 so this foundation comes in a total of 12 shades only three of those shades are for people of color and another thing is the deepest color is the color that fits me 212 that's the darkest color that they have so anybody that's darker than me will not be able to wear this foundation just because their variety of deeper complexion is not that wide and normally in foundations there are two three maybe even four shades that are darker than me out of the three shades the two other darker shades are lighter than me so that leaves a total of nine shades that are for fair skin or lighter skin individuals and I really don't know how I feel about that L'Oreal like you slick slip in. Okay, so I'm going to read you guys the description that they have online that kind of explains this foundation. So the description says, discover the new pro finish of long wear up to 24 hours with a hydrating glow. Lightweight and creamy, this long lasting foundation goes on smooth with a glow finish that lasts with medium coverage. It instantly hides imperfections for a clear complexion. The hydrating foundation with SPF is ideal for normal to dry skin. So this is a 24 hour foundation, which I don't really know who would wear a foundation for 24 hours, but I don't know, I guess those are for sale purposes. So personally, I have dry skin, so let's just hope that this is good for me. They came out with a matte version of this first, the Pro Matte, and the bottle is the same. The only difference is that this was red and this is now blue. The bottle is a sheen, has a gloss this time versus the bottle being matte. And you guys can see the dispenser. It's a controllable tip, which is also really good. It's not just the open lid that you have to kind of like pour. This just allows you to squeeze as much out as you want. All right, so I'm gonna squeeze out the amount that I want. The fact that it's kind of runny, just like the consistency is already runny, just let you know it's gonna be a light foundation. Just gonna dab this all over my face. And let's ignore this huge pimple that I have that came out of the middle of nowhere. Like I'm not even the type to give blemishes. Okay, so I had to tie my hair back because I was definitely getting in my, the, my face. So now I'm just going to use a regular flat top foundation brush and just buff this in. This definitely feels very like lightweight on my skin and the coverage is nice. I, I don't know if you guys can see like the actual glow, but I definitely can. Like it's just glowing all up in here. It's already doing what it says it's supposed to do. All right, so as you can see, it is very red undertone. I like my foundation being more red undertone versus like orange, just because that's how my skin is. I'm, but this is like super red undertone. It's glowing. I don't know if you guys can tell how much it's glowing, but it's definitely glowing. It gives me like a nice glow all in this area where I should be going basically. Blending was very easy. It didn't require me to do a lot. Like I didn't have to keep working at it and keep buffing at it in order for me to get like an even tone. It may have been a bit different if I were to use a beauty blender to blend it out, but so far so good. So right now it's 12 o'clock on the dot. So I'm going to do my makeup. I'll give you guys an update in just a little while to let you know like how it's going, how it's working and stuff like that. Okay you guys, so right now it is Nick's behind the camera. You wanna say hey Nick? Just say hey. Hey. Okay. <laughs> 418, can you see? Okay, sorry it's been kinda long, me and Nick been tripping. So far, the only thing that I can tell difference uh, around my mouth it's kind of come off a little bit unfortunately because that's like my problem area is like around my mouth is that and on top of my nose my nose is like the only place I sweat so that's probably why that happened so that's kind of normal for me but as of right now it is actually doing really good 
Good job. I cried a little bit. I shed a few tears of laughter. And it's held up, so it's doing a okay for me. See you guys in like two hours. All right, guys, so this is the final check in, and it is 6 50. So I've had this makeup on for about seven hours now. Like I was saying earlier, there's areas where it's come off around my mouth, especially like my upper lip area. It was definitely more blotchy in the top, but overall, it's not that bad. The glow aspect of it, once you get done highlighting underneath your eye and contouring and setting, it kind of takes away from it actually glowing which is a bad part but if you were to just wear the foundation it's like a light layer going out it definitely would give you that natural lighting glow that you wanted a little bit after my last check-in I started to notice that the glow dulled down for it to have only been seven hours it held up pretty good most people wear their makeup for seven to eight hours during the day would I buy this foundation again probably just to have something on hand or something light that'll give me like a nice little glow just in case I wanted to do a light on makeup but if I were to to do like a full face then I probably wouldn't just because by the time I get done baking and contouring and setting it just takes away from the glow aspect of the entire foundation it held up it didn't crease around my pimple and it didn't really crease around a lot of problems that I normally have is that stuff will crease around my smile lines and it was just a little bit blotchy throughout the day and you could definitely definitely tell when we were in the natural sunlight you could tell to where it started to blotch up but overall this was a very good foundation I recommend it for people maybe that want to start makeup and that don't want to wear something as heavy or if they don't want to wear like a full face if they just want to wear this to like go to the grocery store or just go out and run some errands i would definitely recommend this just for someone to have on hand all right guys so this concludes the l'oreal pro glow review and first impression if you enjoyed this video make sure that you give it a thumbs up or you subscribe or you comment any of those good things if you want to follow me on any of my social media, those will be linked down below in the description box. And until my next video, bye.